Hey Lola's. <laughs> so I am here with Jasper. Jasper is the birdie sculpt by LC Rodriguez and he is 14 inches. He's a full body silicone baby. He's anatomically correct. And I just came on to show you guys these cute little diapers I found on eBay. And I am so excited about them. They are very, very tidy. I should have brought the other ones to compare, but I thought, I thought I already found the smallest diapers, but then I found these, which is way, even way more smaller. You know what? I should have, I should have brought one of the other ones. Hold on one second. I'll grab one just to compare because it's like, it's so cool that they get that small. I can't believe it. Um... All right, so I years a year ago or two years ago, I don't know when it was. I went online and I really wanted this this uh this Pooh Bear print diaper and in the really small ones. I thought it was so cute, um, and so I went on this hunt for this print in the very small print diapers. And I bought a box and they were the wrong ones and I was so upset um, because they 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 had the picture of the Winnie the Pooh on there but I got these instead so these are micro creamy right so that's it has MP on it and micro creamy says it's up to four pounds so let me show you that's what the box looks like up to four pounds when you become an addict to something, you you will go to crazy lengths to get what you want. Um, I spent about $40, $50 on getting the diapers that I really wanted. Um, I spent about $30 or so on the wrong ones. It was just, it was just crazy. Um, so that's those, but these actually are nano preemie. And it's NP on it. Hang on. And then let's see if it'll focus. And as you can see, it says up to two pounds. So they're smaller. So wait a minute. So I don't know what size these are. So I guess these are micro creamy, not nano creamy. So okay. So this, this shows the difference in the size of these. So, if that makes sense. So look at that, right? So even if I take them, so I could take them with same print and that might make it easier for you guys to see. So this is micro preemie and nano preemie, right? So that's, all right. Then I found, in the Pampers brand, I don't know, he says P3, and they are, I think, less than 1.8 pound. So this is like, look at this. Right? Look at these. That's what he's wearing. So these, they're kind of like flat and flared out, but they have this print on them I didn't know they were going to be this small I thought they were going to be the same size as the other ones but I like the print so I was chasing the print more than anything so then so I think it's like nano creamy but they actually Pampers always fit smaller than Huggies anyway so like when these are open I think they are similar size. So these are nano, so yeah, so they're, did you see that? That So they're nano preemie. So in the Pampers brand, but I find that they fit a lot better, which is so cool. Um, like, and when I sold 
my other uh, birdie scope. I sent the little one, little diapers, because I know a lot of mommies don't really have them. And then they sell them like individual, like three for $6 or something like that on eBay. So you don't have to buy the whole box, but me, you know, I'm impulsive. But the funny part is these diapers were only 12 bucks, which is crazy. Cause usually people try to like jack them up, like super, super high. They were still only $12. I was so excited. I was like, nah, they're not gonna send me the real thing. Like I was just expecting something crazy to come in the mail, but they came. So this is this is this is him in his um in his little diaper and I don't have to fold it up or anything. Let's see. Look at him. Don't mind his little shiny spot there. But yeah, let's see. Let's zoom in. This fits his little butt. Yeah, he's still not rooted. I'm going to finish rooting him at some point. But, yeah, so that's my little. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. I keep saying I'm going to finish rooting him. I'm going to put him up for sale, but I just can't sell him. So, I just. Let's see. Take his pacifier out. He's cute without his pacifier, actually. He has elbow armatures too. But I just love his skin tone and I just, I don't know, I just love him. So I don't do anything with him really. Let me strip him down for you guys. I don't really do much with him. Um, hold on. He's never been, I never finished him up as far as any like touch-ups or anything on him so it is what it is but I plan to do it after I root it finish rooting him I think I am going to finish rooting him this week though I think I'm going to go ahead and, and, and finish rooting him just because yep <laughs> all right so I rooted, I, I'm rooting the front of him and he is rooted to be a very hairy baby. Where is that? I don't know what I do with my brush, my, um, the brush is here. Ah, I only see this big one. Why is, why is it only this big one right here? It's okay. I just want to get this hair out of his face. There you go. His hair is rooted to be in his face because so, he is a hairy baby, but not like that. So, but yeah. yeah. Let me, let me, let me, let me fix him up a little bit. Um, I just got to brush back for now, but it, it is going to kind of go down in his face a little bit like a hairy baby. Um, because that's what he's modeled after. And so, yeah. So he got these little hand mitts. And these little micro preemie um, mitts is perfect. You can find them on the preemie store. I really like those. Um, I, th I think they, you know, really like fits him nicely. Oh, his tummy, I didn't do the attachment to him like I did on the other baby because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like all that. It's just unnecessary. I just do it this way. Hold on. But yeah, he wrinkles and he's, you know, he's soft silicone, but his legs are in this like bent position so probably armatures in the legs in this sculpt would be nice since they're not going to flop no way because of the how short they are and how they're sculpted so I think armatures in the legs would be fine and you would be able to like really scrunch it up and hold poses in it so if you ever get one and you have the option to have armatures 
I would get them in the, the legs and the the arms, but I really like that they're in the arms. I'm okay with them not being in the legs because as you can see, I can still bend his little legs different ways without I'm just looking. <laughs> oh gosh, his little head does turn from side to side. I love my little uh my little full body babies. A little tiny little self. He's so cute. He has the cutest little body. And his um his little boy bits is realistic and painted realistic as well. But I of course can't show you guys that. But oh and these diapers, like they I don't even know where it start and begin. Hold on. Where is the see I don't I don't yeah, because they actually, it's like they are made to wrap around them. Like they know. But, ooh, sorry. He went popping out on me. But, yeah, so he has a little pushy belly. But, yeah. So, I really, I really, really, like I said, I really enjoy my little babies even see how it's it's like it's made to wrap around him like really fit around him i like that but i'm gonna buy him some more stuff these armatures because of how they are you do need to kind of hold them when you move them but i don't move his armatures around a whole lot because i kind of keep him in this position like I mean with them up kind of up I just kind of keep them up for it a little bit because I, I like them being up but I, I think um let me see I get you guys a little bit more light on him there we go I am going to shop for him and buy him a couple things but you know the, the clothes are so expensive I have to buy like an outfit at a time you know every so many months I'll, I'll probably just buy him a little something um on the sarah wood uh, website either 13 or 14 inch actually works for him but he's so cute i i, I really love him a lot um i want to get this other preeming that's 14 inches um and paint i want to paint it so bad and i want to paint it in the same skin tone or maybe a little bit darker but something else came up that's coming available and i'm 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 gonna have to go for that so i'm gonna have to hold off and wait to get the other one until i sell something else so um but i really i i actually think i enjoy painting premiums in silicone a lot more than I, I I talk about I really I really love painting them because I feel like I I don't know I, for whatever reason I'm not afraid to go darker on them it's weird um the, my darkest baby to date it was a preemie and that was Penelope and she was with birdie babies so yeah I you know my full body babies to be honest I I like them just in a diaper a lot of times. He'll be like this like for a long time. Like I'll just leave him like that. It, so clothes and stuff, it doesn't matter to me as much as it would to other people because yeah, I and I open his mouth up a little bit more, see, where he can put a full passy all the way in because I wanted to make sure he could get a full passy in there not big big passy but at least the this one would fit in nice and it's a little micro preemie i like it and it works really well with him but yeah and you can get these babies in girls and boys so but i i i'm a boy mom all day i love the boys so anyway that is it and i'm also a sleeper mom so Okay, I'm going to go. I didn't realize this video got so long. I didn't think I have so much to say about this little guy. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you guys later. Again, his name is Jasper. I think he's going to be our keeper, honestly.